Hoopers, Hoopers Skills Masterclass Online. I'm Jo Nutkins, if you haven't worked with me before, and I am an accredited Hoopers instructor through Canine Hoopers UK, and I run Hoopers both in person and online. I am going to be taking you through this master course with my own two dogs who are now going into play mode, um, which are Merlin and Ripley. <laughs> yes, you are. Um, and occasionally, possibly with Echo the Duck, who you may or may not be able to see at the bottom of the screen there. <laughs> Can you shush for a sec? I'm trying to talk you two. Thank you. Um, so what this is, is a slight introduction, which we're going to be also putting out so that people can see what we're going to be looking at and what we're going to be covering. The master course isn't just a one-off session. You're going to have lots of content given over a period of a few weeks online. You'll be able to access it as often as you want to. You can have breaks here and there. You can repeat um, tutorials. You can pause them to catch up, replay, and then carry on. It's entirely up to you how you use it, basically. Okay? So what we'll then have is every exercise will have um, talk through a tutorial done on video i will explain it i will show it with my dogs i will explain it again and then there'll be a write-up to go with it as well Merlin, come here. good boy um so you get to work through like that every exercise will also have progression stages so it doesn't matter what level you are working at with your dog in general or for hooper specifically there will be something for you to work on with your dogs so for example if we're working on sending your dogs forward sending them ahead of you dogs that haven't done it before we're going to start off really nice and close and just working on the dogs moving away dogs that can move away from us towards something we're going to work on adding in distance adding in distractions um, and adding in actually pieces of equipment for your dogs to move towards or to go through so it might be the same exercise, but there will be different levels depending on where you are with your dog. So that way, if you've got more than one dog and they're at different levels, so you might have an experienced dog, a new puppy perhaps, there'll be something you can do with each of your dogs as well. Merlin, will you shush? You're naughty, aren't you? Go up there. Up. No, shush. Um, good girl, Ripley. So, to give you some examples, this is what a Hooper's course would look like so if you were going to be doing hoopers and you've worked through all the different skills and you've done some training this is what hoopers looks like long term impressive isn't it and that is all using these skills that we're going to be covering basically all right the equipment comes ooh, comes later once the dogs know when to move ahead when to turn when to go around something when to go through something everything else just falls into place really nice and tidily all right so what are we going to be needing for this course you don't need anything specific now you can see this is my lounge. I don't have any hoopers hoops here, any tunnels. I don't have a tango mat. Um, I don't have any barrels to go around. Everything we're gonna be working with is either just you and your dog and working on specific skills, or when we need to use equipment, it's going to be stuff that you've got hopefully around your house or in your garden. So this is the kind of equipment we'll need and this will be done as a list as well. We will need um, something for your dog to pass between, so two of something, I know darling, so that can be anything. Now, <laughs> Christmas in my house normally means Pringles at some point, so it could literally just be two Pringles cans, yeah? Something that your dog well, can, can go through, just like that, doesn't have to be a Hooper's Hoop, it could be anything, it could be two soda bottles, it could be um, some cans of drink that are piled up, um, it could be two um, bins, two buckets, two completely different items, just two things that stand up, okay? You're going to need something to um, that gets your dog's interest, something that you can throw. So that might be just a normal toy, something that your dog's interested in. It might be a toy that you can put a treat inside if your dog isn't huge on toys. Um, it could be something that gives a bit of a good old purchase, especially if your dog's working at a higher level. Um, it could be treats in a treat pot, something like that, ideally. You can use a treat, but ideally we want to try and use something your dogs can really see 
for when we're adding in that distance okay so something along those lines we need something for your dogs to go around and we're going to need two items ideally so going around again we can go back to our pringles tins <laughs> there are other crisps available um it could be um, a waste paper basket it could be a dustbin it could be a stool um, just something that your dogs can go right round, yeah? Um, garden ornaments make quite good ones, flower pots quite handy, boxes, gift bags, things like that. Anything your dog can go around really um, is what you're gonna need. Something you can use as a target for your dogs to go to, and a target can be pretty much anything. So um, I often use coasters as targets for my dogs. Um, I do actually have specific targets because I do so much target work with mine. Frisbees work quite nicely. It could be um, a diary, a book, something that your dog can put their feet on basically. All right, so that's a target item. And that's pretty much all you'll need. You'll need your dogs and you'll need some rewards as well um, and somewhere to work. You don't need lots and lots of space at all. You can see the amount of room I'm gonna be working in and everything that we do, you can also take out on your walks and your exercise with your dogs as well. So, here's to show you just a few of the skills um, that we will be working with, with a few different dogs. So have a little look and see how they're getting on. That's it, that's it. Yes, good boy. Nice, good boy. a lot of fun suitable for every type of dog pretty much suitable for puppies for adults and for senior dogs um, if you don't know the work that I do alongside being an accredited Hoopers instructor I'm also an accredited instructor with the Kennel Club and I am also certified in canine fitness so we do have a lot of uh, overlaps with the exercises we've got the Hooper skills we've got um, exercises to help with your dog's uh, balance and coordination and strength and making sure that they're fit to do the work um, and also generally looking at the uh, training side as well so all of those are going to be put together um, if you're not already enrolled and you would like to be part of this masterclass um, the details are attached to this uh, video and you can also have a look at the event page on our Facebook page okay so have a little look if you need anything let me know give us a contact somehow um, and I look forward to seeing you online very soon as does Merlin as you can hear you're such a noisy doglet okay so take care for now and we will see you with some happy hoopers.